tonight. Uh, <laughs> uh, exciting, really. Um, I personally learned a lot, but I think that uh, the beers were really a, more than what I expected them to be. More complex, more interesting, and uh, as they were explained by the by the person from the brewery, I think that uh, easier to understand, but even being more complex than I would ever imagine a beer to be. I think that the people that are on in the front of the house staff here look for breweries like this that are, um, what do you call them? I don't want to say cult breweries, but they're smaller scale artisanal breweries and they try to showcase them every month or every other month. And this is, I think this is the, this is the third one we've done. Um, I think it really is a good impression of the beer. And what's really hard about pairing, I think, for wine or with beer is that each part, the food and the wine, combine to make something that's greater than either the food or the wine. So we want them to go away with, obviously, a really good impression of the beer, but our contribution to that with the food is kind of elevating elevating their perception of the beer to be greater than it was without the food. How did I meet the brewmaster? Actually, I met the brewmaster just now when the beer at 645, 640. It's the first time I met him. So, but I think, you know, me being a cook, knowing the cook, and in this case, the brewmaster is the cook of the beer. Once you know that person and you understand what they're doing and they, you have a whole new appreciation for what they do.